Yeah, it's me again. This video is going to be about how I charge magnets. Um, I just got an old magnet charger from a friend that didn't work. I made it work, and uh, I'm just learning as I go. So I guess y'all can learn with me if you want. And uh, I will have a little section uh, where I'm charging magnets. Uh, I've already made that part of the video, and I, uh, I chopped my head off in the whole video, so that's probably a good deal. So <laughs> anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going to also uh, just kind of do a little snit bit here on, uh, you know, what the magnet charger looks like, you know, what I did to make it work, and, um, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing with it. So this here is my magnet charger. It's got two wound coils. It's been a factory built charger. I don't know the manufacturer of it. Uh, all this front part was missing when I got it. Good friend of mine, uh, you know, we'll just call him Eric Anderson. Seems like a good name. Uh, he found this in a little shop and uh, thought I should have it. So found a broken wire in here and this mechanism back or where she comes back and goes to the coils, fix that. And I just, uh, you know, added some wires. Little switch from like, a, you know, for a farmall, I believe, starter switch. And I'm just, I just set this uh, gauge on there. So I can kind of see if it's working or not. And I just run it on a 12 volt battery, you know, which I made for a side post. And now I have top post batteries. I need to get some battery cables with uh, RV type stuff so I can, you know, wing nut them on. Then I'm good for uh, side post or top post, whatever I have for batteries. So, uh, the other tool you need is a, a compass because you got to know north and south. And that's how I had to figure out, you know. You know, my poles on my charger, you got to know that. A little residual magnetism there. So, so I figured that out. I had to turn around the first time, get some juice going through there, and figure that out. And, uh, well, and you got to have a brass hammer. So that's what I used to you know, tap the magnet when it's... Uh, being magnetized or when it's done so it aligns all them uh, magnetic uh, pixies same way going with the with the, the magnet itself you got to figure out your poles so some of them are marked most of them aren't I mean, right there that's your north side and that's your south so when you charge it Got to take the, the north side and put it on the south side because opposites attract in the magnetic world. So now that it's on there, yeah, I just push my button for about three seconds, and then you can see she's drawing some amps. And, uh, and I really don't know if you're supposed to hit it before, or after, you know. So I'm just learning just like everybody else. Well, why don't we uh, watch me uh, charge some magnets on a magneto? Well, I'm gonna charge some magnets. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. I guess the end result will be if this whole operation works when I'm done. Anyway, here, this is my magnet charger. I'll do a little close-up video on this. But uh, we're just gonna play around here with these magnets. So. I just got some steel plates. As you can see, this one got nothing. This one, this one will hold a little. It's just barely. So, I guess the true test would be if I charge this magnet and I pick the plate up. I mean, science, right? It should work. I got a brass hammer because you're supposed to tap them when you're done. Line all them. Little magnetic pixies in there, I guess. They they like getting walked with a brass lightly, lightly walked. 
I've already got my poles figured out on my magnet charger. This is south and this is north, so you can't charge light poles. I can't put the south side of the magnet on the south side. It's got to be dis dissimilar sides. So, so I use my magnet or my uh, magnet magnet with the compass to figure out, you know, what we got going on here. This is south. This is north. This is south. So the south, no north. North will have to go to the south side. So I marked it already on the other magnets. So all my marks will have to go away from me. So it's hooked up to a 12 volt battery. I just got a starter switch for like an old farm all on here. So what I do is, you know, I put it down pretty close and then hit the button. Three seconds and then let off. And then I'll do it again. And voila! Picks up the bag. So I must have accomplished something there. What? I don't know. I'll probably go through each one of these couple three times just to overdo it. I don't think you can overdo it. It just gets so much and that's it. So, the marks are in that way away, but I will double check to make sure that's the north, so we'll do the same thing with this, uh, the second, the, the middle magnet. Now, with these Websters, you're supposed to do them together in the Magneto, and I'm not sure quite how to do that. So, I'm doing it this way, putting them on steel plates, and then I'll assemble them and slam them together and hope for the best. So, I, I do need to talk to a Magneto guy sometime and see if I can just set the mag on here. You're supposed to have iron blocks to do on the sides, and I don't have those. So, I need to make or get some of those, but... Anyway, this here is the uh, the biggest horseshoe. That one's outside of the Magneto, so get away from that. That's definitely north, and this one had some charge in it, so you can sure feel that. That one held pretty good before this little guy. He's still got some iron to him. So I think we'll uh, just go through that one again. North to south, just like that. Probably got my compass too close to it, but oh well, it's a cheap one from Walmart. North there again, so. So I'm gonna let them sit here for a little bit and see if they actually uh, hold magnetism or not. Because, uh, well, I'm not an expert, but I'm trying to learn. 